Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. In today's episode we've got a selection of epic clips. That moment at the start from Victor Scar was insane. So many kills using those mind clearers on the Valentine tank. Moving on, two clips from Barrett. The first is an epic plane sniper and the second, well, he just picked up four kills with one drilling shot. Moving on, it's boosted rival, Battlefield 1, and an incredible long-range tank shot. Jimic 26 is next, Operation Underground in the Medic class, trying to capture the objectives between Alpha and Bravo. Now, was he cheating or not? Check out that for a few bullets sprayed into a corridor. Replayed in slow motion, I think it's just complete luck. That's what happens on some of these Operation Underground games. You just get these amazing lucky moments. Could Pilot Gaming's coming in with a satisfying shotgun streak on Aerodrome. This thing is absolutely broken. The 12G automatic is so good. He drops in here on this side of the aerodrome in the smoke as well, so he's concealed, finds a selection of campers, gets them taken down, and that's where the streak ends. NLP 100's coming in with an incredibly long-range tank effort. Check this out. Spots an enemy plane in the distance, blasts across the map first time, and picks up the kill. For any of you tank players out there, I've got some really satisfying clips coming in from Valentine AU. This first one, well, check out how many kills he manages to get on a RAS as these enemy players blast into the flag. Try and capture Charlie, he's having none of it. He takes out so many vehicles, so many players, and a massive point streak. Now, I'll include three or four of these after this and just let them play because they're epic to watch. It's very rare you see these aggressive and high kill tank streaks, although we did have one at the very start of this episode. Really good fun to watch. I'll let them play. Vilio 3 Games is next. I think that's how you want your name to be pronounced. Bravo Objective on Rotterdam. He's trying to find himself a way in with the Selves Ladder 1916, and as he comes up the stairs, he gets a massive surprise. Many of you have been commending EN98 and his amazing sniping skills. EN is one of the best players on the game, no doubt. This is an amazing set of clips as well, the first two being on Rotterdam. He's been complaining recently on Twitter, I mean, he's been complaining for quite some time about cheaters in the Asian region. And I really do feel sorry for those players that are trying to get online and play. They can't because of the amount of cheaters, so then they have to try and play on North American servers, maybe European servers with massive pings. That's good for nobody, but at least he's still playing the game. Huya TV is next. A nice 11 kill streak on Rotterdam with the ZK383. This episode of The Top Plays is sponsored by Instant Gaming. They've been a sponsor on this channel for quite some time. I use them, as do my friends. It's great if you're looking for some cheap games on PC, PS4, Xbox, you can find it all on there. If you're pre-ordering or just looking for a code to share with a friend, it's the place to go. 
you can check out the links for Instant Gaming in the description. Next up we have the Rush Shots, with a few clips sent in over the past few weeks. The first one, he's in the Scout class, he's on Rotterdam, he drops down the side here. It's a classic position, and he racks up quite a few headshots. Oh no! Next up, he's round the side of Alpha on Operation Underground. In the scout class, lines up a couple of heads over in the apartment buildings to the side of him. You can see them on the staircase trying to revive, and they just get blasted. The third clip he sent in is on Twisted Steel, this one with the Craig Jorgensen lining up a few headshots on Bravo Objective, a nice sniper kill feed. A nice clip sent in from Mikasol live on stream. This one is an accurate clip as well, showcasing what you can do if you put your mind to it and you really practice at mastering your aim. I mean, the ZK is fairly easy to use. I'd say as a medic weapon, it's probably the best all-rounder because of the mag size, the fire rate, the recoil is easy to control. Plus, you can hip fire it or even prone and bipod with it if you want. It's got a bit of everything. This is a nice clip though as he moves through this part of the map where you've got the rubble around you, players often hiding, it's difficult to spot people, luckily for him things are getting spotted just as he aims which is really really lucky especially on a flag like this where there's so much around, lets his aim do the work, a great little clip. Daddy Cool is next, Operation Underground and a nice back-to-back -back collateral clip. Tigernator Gaming is playing on Twisted Steel. He's in the Scout class, you know what's about to happen. Gets lucky with a shot and picks up more than he bargained for. Next up we've got a clip sent in from Naki, it's a slightly longer streak with the automatic 12G on Grind, this was back in the day when Grind was a regular fixture on Battlefield, hopefully it will return soon, especially with private games coming out. This though is a back to back streak, so he gets one big point stack followed by another later in the clip. Absolutely awesome, nearly put it in a Blind Enemies episode because these guys are just clueless, pretty insane stuff. Kreiner's next up with the devastation of Rotterdam killstreak. This is Grand Operations. There's only one sector left, it's Alpha Objective, and he's pushing in the side here with so many enemy players to take out. A couple of clips sent in from Maxi, probably the best console player on the PS4, this guy's insane. Check him out on stream, look at that for a spray down with the ZK, all headshots as well. This guy doesn't mess about with his accuracy uh, and he what? plays on controller, which is just incredible. Uh, and then moving on, we have another kill streak from Maxi. This time, a 19 kill streak in total against a pile of clueless enemies. Like that, like that. 
Yes, dude. Let's get half the team. <laughs> Still going. I don't know how I got that kill. I don't know how I got that kill. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Moving on, it's Stubby playing on Operation Underground in the Scout class. A nice sniper streak. Oh! 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 With a triple. Three and one. Back, yeah. A six man feed with the Lee Enfield from Profit RKS. This is an absolute meat grinder, this map, and if you can get in the right position, especially with enemies that just don't want to move, as you can see, you rack up some nice kill streaks. Fine. Knock Knock is next. The 12G, as I've mentioned before, is incredibly powerful in Battlefield 5. He's got his team behind him, but they're not really that intent on pushing in. He comes around the corner and finds a massive pile of enemy players. The Calibri sent in a pretty insane clip. He's in the gunner seat of the plane, something is chasing him, he can't quite get an angle on it. His pilot flies directly up, bailing out of the bottom. Panzerfaust, bang, takes out the enemy plane. Pretty awesome stuff to see on Battlefield 5. We did see a clip at the start from Victor Scar, but he did send in another, this time with the Lewis gun as he pushes around the side of Alpha Objective on Fiel 652 in the snowstorm and grabs a massive multi-kill. Two epic Operation Underground clips next from WoW Gaming. This map's been out for a couple of weeks now and people have really started to get to grips with the flanking routes. That being said, you still do find a lot of campers that are unaware of their surroundings. WoW Gaming takes advantage of that with a nice little point streak to start things off. The second clip he sent in is just perfect. Launching a grenade back through the door there, racking up five kills. All of those campers are taken down. Check out this from Neon, the perfect way to take down an enemy plane. Yeah! Let's go. That was so long in the air. Probably the most depressing clip of today's episode. Check out this for just an incredibly unlucky clip from Tubby Tibbles. Gets a kill on that enemy plane, misses the first one, but he manages to connect. I think he fat fingers a key. Pretty unlucky stuff. And then he can't catch up with his stag hound. Finishing off today, a bit of a weird one. Wiser Acrobat 573 is coming in with a pretty unusual kill. Check it out. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. It was a long one today, lots of clips to get through. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Make sure you check out the players' channels in the description, and I'll catch you in the next episode.